Several years ago, we made a video about a newly emerging class of adventure scooters. We had many fruitful discussions with our viewers in the comments section of that video and have come to a consensus that this market segment is likely to grow in the upcoming years, since the consumer interest towards this type of two-wheelers is heating up. Fast forward two years, it seems that manufacturers have taken a hint and started adding more and more adventure-style scooters to their lineup. During this time, dozens of new models have been released and we want to tell you about all of them. This is the first volume of our mini-series dedicated to trail-ready scooters of 2023 and 2024 model years. Please consider subscribing if you'd like to get a notification when the second part gets released. Let's get the ball rolling! SYM ADX-125 The ADX-125 is the newest adventure-oriented model in the lineup of this Taiwanese scooter manufacturer. The model is very likely to turn heads with its aggressive design language that features wide front fairing, split LED lights, and an adjustable clear windshield. Considering that this model was developed as a hybrid between a commuter scooter and an adventure bike, it received a robust suspension setup and special Kenda mixed-terrain tires. The suspension is represented by a telescopic fork in the front and a single-sided monoshock in the rear. Moreover, the on-road safety is guaranteed by the standard traction control system and disc brakes with ABS. The scooter is brought into motion by means of a liquid-cooled, single-cylinder, four-stroke engine with a 125cc displacement. The engine is equipped with an electric starting system and paired to a CVT transmission. It produces 12 horsepower of output at 7,500 RPM and 8.5 pound-feet of torque at 7,000 RPM. Other important equipment includes a 5-inch TFT instrument cluster with automatic brightness adjustment for day and nighttime, keyless start, full LED lights, a front storage compartment, and a large 4-gallon fuel tank. Wotan Storm V Established scooter manufacturers have recently started offering lower displacement versions of their popular adventure scooters, so it's no wonder that smaller players are trying to catch up and produce similar models for their lineups. Wotan Motors, a manufacturer from Spain, has recently announced the new Storm V model. This two-wheeler received a bright yellow paintwork with gray decals, muscular bodywork with angular lines, and a transparent windshield that is inherent to the adventure scooter class. The heart of the model is a 125cc one-cylinder four-stroke engine with liquid cooling and electronic fuel injection. The motor is combined with an automatic CVT and can generate the maximum power output of 14.28 horsepower. In order to efficiently get over bumps and other uneven road surfaces, Storm V is equipped with a 37mm front telescopic fork and a double rear shock absorber. The braking setup is represented by a 260mm front disc with a 4-piston caliper and a 220mm rear disc with a 1-piston caliper. In the standard configuration, you're getting CBS braking while the ABS is optional. Despite the size, Storm V offers an ample amount of storage. There are two glove compartments in the front and an under-seat storage capacity suitable for a full-face helmet. The standard configuration also gets you a large 7-inch TFT color display that grants you access to various performance metrics, as well as a GPS navigation function. Kimco DTX360 The bright maxi scooter by the Taiwanese Kimco was developed with the weekend adventurers in mind. To provide riders with maximum confidence once they ride off nicely paved roads, the new DTX360 comes with a standard traction control system, off-road oriented tires, and a high front fender. At the same time, the wider handlebar and higher seating position will help you keep control of the bike on rough surfaces. Under its skin, the DTX360 has a compact steel frame that was fitted with two adjustable shock absorbers and a telescopic front fork. The power comes from a liquid-cooled four-stroke single cylinder with 321cc displacement, which returns 28.8 horsepower and a solid 22 pound-feet of torque. The stopping power is provided by hydraulic brakes with 260mm front discs and 240mm rear discs, as well as an ABS system by Bosch. In its base configuration, the DTX360 also comes with LED units both in the front and in the back, a double glove compartment, an under-seat storage, a full-color dashboard, a USB charging port, and a keyless entry system. 
The class of adventure scooters has shown a tremendous growth in popularity over the past years, but most of these models are still not represented on European and North American markets. Do you think these should change? Which of these models would you like to come to your domestic market? Please share your thoughts below and we'll keep rolling. Lexmoto XDV300 Lexmoto XDV300 is one of the most affordable options on the modern adventure scooter market. A quick look at the spec sheet confirms that XDV300 is not as powerful and off-road capable as its eminent competition, but considering the price, it'll still be a good option for beginners. XDV300 is A2 compliant and is brought into motion by a 279cc single-cylinder engine with a belt drive and liquid cooling. This unit produces 25.5 horsepower at 8250 rpm and 17.7 pound-feet of torque at 7000 rpm. The manufacturer suggests that these performance figures will grant you the top speed of 80 miles per hour. The model is equipped with hydraulic brakes with a single disc both at the front and the rear. These have ABS and will let you efficiently control the power and quickly come to a standstill. The adventure capabilities of this two-wheeler are backed up by the full KYB suspension setup with long travel upside-down forks, gas-charged rear shocks that are preload adjustable, as well as all-terrain tires. The scooter's standard package also includes an adjustable windscreen, a large underseat storage area, heated grips, full LED lighting system, and fully digital instrument cluster. MIT 125 ADV The 125 ADV by the Spanish MIT Motors is a low-displacement scooter that belongs to the adventure class. In order to support the scooter's dual-purpose nature, it was equipped with a class-specific frame, mismatched wheels with mixed-tread CST tires, and a full suspension system with two shock absorbers in the rear. They are preload adjustable so you can fine-tune your ride depending on the terrain or the amount of cargo that you're carrying. Speaking of the cargo, the MIT 125 ADV is equipped with an underseat cargo area that can store a full-face helmet, as well as a rear cargo mount that can hold an auxiliary cargo trunk. In terms of performance, this two-wheeler relies on a highly efficient 125cc single-cylinder engine. It produces 11.3 horsepower at 8,000 rpm and 8.8 pound-feet of torque at 6,000 rpm, while keeping the fuel economy at 94 mpg. The model's standard equipment also includes full LED lighting, a TFT information screen, dynamic turn signals, a keyless start system, a USB port for your phone, engine start and stop system, an adjustable windshield, a parking brake, and two color options. Aprilia SR GT125 and 200 Well known for their high-performance motorcycles, the Italian Aprilia is actually no stranger to producing more down-to-earth vehicles. To tell the truth, they've produced a good deal of quality scooters up to date. One of their most recent creations is a mix between an urban and adventure scooter that is called the Aprilia SRGT. Easily recognizable as an Aprilia, the two-wheeler boasts the brand's signature design and borrows various elements from its elder siblings. You'll notice its familiar tri-LED headlight up front, heavily fared body panels with sharp lines, and a suspended windscreen. The SRGT can also be ordered in a special sport trim that gets you red wheel rims and a two-tone seat with special stitching. The model gets a long travel suspension, there are two hydraulic shock absorbers with adjustable preload in the rear, and a telescopic front fork with 120 millimeters of travel. In terms of performance, the compact scooter relies on a 125cc or 175cc single cylinder engine. It's rated for 14.7 or 17.4 horsepower and a peak torque of 9 or 12 pound feet. Kimco CV3 The first tilting three-wheeler from the Taiwanese Kimco relies on the company's extensive expertise in maxi-scooter segment. CV3 is using an already familiar engine architecture. It was largely borrowed from the current AK550, which means that the scooter is powered by a 550cc twin-cylinder engine. With 50 horsepower and 38 pound-feet of torque, the model is one of the most potent options on the market since it's able to reach the 100 mile per hour velocity mark. Apart from the powertrain and transmission, the CV3 is an all-new product with a tilting front axle and two front wheels. Each of these has a separate fork allowing the wheels to lean together for improved stability and cornering. 
The three-wheel scooter is also equipped with adventure-oriented tires so you can get enough grip when conquering rough road conditions. For the asking price, the CV3 comes standard with keyless start, two drive modes, heated grips, cruise control function, ABS braking, and a large 6-inch TFT dashboard with navigation. Honda XADV This overview could not be complete without a model that started the adventure scooter craze. Honda XADV Positioned between a scooter and an adventure motorcycle, the XADV is the company's European bestseller. Last year, the scooter was significantly facelifted. It received much more aggressive body panels, three new exterior colors, full LED lighting with DRLs, and a more comfortable seat. Moreover, there is 22 liters of storage capacity, enough for storing a full face helmet under the seat. The makeover introduces a 6-pound lighter frame and a Euro 5 compliance. The upgraded liquid-cooled parallel twin engine got a 4-horsepower bump, so now it puts out 58 horsepower at 6750 rpm, while the torque reading reaches 50.9 pound-feet at 4750 rpm. The improved engine setup offers the 65.3 mpg fuel economy and can cover up to 227 miles on one full 3.5-gallon tank. There's also a new throttle-by-wire technology with four riding modes, a three-level torque control system, and the six-speed DCT with revised gear ratios. The model boasts a new 5-inch TFT screen and Honda smartphone voice control. BMW C400X BMW has recently introduced upgrades to its C400 middleweight scooter lineup that included significant technical optimizations and new color options. The C400 series is offered in two variations, C400 GT model suitable for long-range touring and an adventure-oriented C400X scooter. Both scooters belong to the premium segment and that is why they can boast a rich combination of performance, tech, and comfort. The recently optimized single-cylinder engine has a 350cc displacement. It puts out 34 horsepower at 7500 rpm and 25.8 pound-feet of torque at 5750 rpm. The power output is channeled through a CVT gearbox. With this powertrain setup, this 454-pound scooter could ride at speeds up to 85 miles per hour while retaining the average fuel consumption of 67 mpg. It goes without saying that ABS comes as standard and it is further enhanced by automatic stability control for safe acceleration on slippery roads. The suspension setup is represented by a telescopic front fork with 35mm diameter and a double aluminum swing arm with preload adjustments. The most recent upgrades to the braking system included the introduction of double disc brakes at the front and an improved rollback technology for the brake pistons. SYM MMBCU Targeting exclusively Asian markets, the latest SYM two-wheeler offers sporty design with a sharp nose and angular fairing. To be fair, this model is giving the vibe similar to those of Kawasaki scooters. This adventure-style scooter rides on 13-inch alloys equipped with disc brakes and an ABS. It also has full LED lights and packs a full suspension system with a front telescopic fork and a preload adjustable monoshock. Performance-wise, the MMBCU is here to rival the likes of Honda ADV150. It is brought into motion by a 158cc four-stroke four-valve engine with liquid cooling. This motor setup returns 15.4 horsepower at 8,000 rpm, while the torque parameter is recorded at 11 pound-feet at 6,000 rpm. The model fits a full-face helmet or 28 liters of cargo under its single-piece seat. It also features a monochrome information display and a USB outlet and a front storage for a water bottle. This was the last entry for today. Are you excited about the second part of the video dedicated to adventure scooters? If so, consider subscribing to Automotive Territory and turning on notifications. Meanwhile, you may want to check out our previous videos or interact with our community members in the comments section. Thanks for watching and as always, may the torque be with you!